Hello everyone, my name is Altus, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install mods on Minecraft 1.15.2. Now this should work all through 2020 and when Minecraft 1.16 releases, including any other major releases that happen to come out this year. To install mods, we're going to be using something called Minecraft Forge. So if you've never heard of Forge, it's basically something that you'll download into your Minecraft files that will allow you to run mods. So first of all, let's look at the Minecraft launcher. So down here, you can see your latest releases, snapshots that you have downloaded, other versions you have downloaded. Um, and once we install Forge, that will show right here. So if you go into the, the installations right here, you'll be able to add different, um, different versions. So you could scroll down all the way to say release 1.12 Forge, uh, that's only because I've already downloaded it. Or you could go to release 1.6, uh, 1.4, all the way down to the beta versions and the alpha versions. But those don't matter for this video. For this video, we're just going to be going over how to install Forge. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open your browser and look up Minecraft Forge. Just go to this website right here, minecraftforge.net. So the installations for all the different versions are practically the same, but I'm just going to be going over 1.12.2 in this specific video. Keep in mind that different mods will require different versions of Forge. So say you wanted to download a mod that only works for version 1.7. If you wanted to download that Minecraft mod that was in Minecraft 1.7, you would have to have the corresponding Forge version. So. That means you can't have Minecraft Forge 1.12.2 downloaded and be trying to use a 1.7 mod. They just won't be compatible. Alright, so now for the actual installation. Once you go to the version that you want, click on the installation method that corresponds with your operating system. So if you wanted Mac, you would press installer, but since I'm on Windows, I'm just going to press Windows installer. So this is going to bring you to a website called Add Focus. Don't click anything right here. Again, don't click anything here. It's just going to download viruses and stuff you don't want on your computer. What you want to click is skip right at the top right. That will instantly download Forge and you'll be ready to go. Alright, so once you have Forge installed, all you got to do is go to your downloads folder right here and click on the F Forge installation. You don't need the file explorer anymore, so you can just close that. So now once you're here, you're going to have the Forge mod system installer. If you change this to somewhere else, Forge will not work, so just keep it right there. Um, don't change this, just keep it on Install Client and just press OK. It'll download the libraries and the download should be pretty fast and it'll tell you when it's complete. Alright, so now once you've installed Forge, all you have to do is go into your Minecraft launcher and you'll see right here it says Forge and the version that you installed it with, which I did 1.12.2, which it says right there. Now you're all set, but we're missing the mod, so we gotta go find that. Alright, so now all you gotta do is open up your browser and look up Minecraft Mods. So there's many websites for this, but the two I like to use is Minecraft Mods and 9Minecraft. So MinecraftMods.com has a better interface than 9Minecraft in my opinion, but the problem with this website is it only goes up to 1.14.4. You're not able to get any mods above that, which means 1.15 mods aren't on this website. So if you're looking for 1.15 mods, I'd go to this website, but if you're not, you can also go to this website, but this website works just as well. So since I downloaded Forge 1.12.2, you have to download a mod that's Forge 1.12.2. Let's say if you downloaded Forge for 1.14.4, then you would have to do one for 1.14.4, which is right here, but I do 1.12.2, so I press on that. And then it'll give you all the available mods on the website for Minecraft 1.12.2. So I'm just going to go look through these mods really quick and I'll be back when I find a good one. Alright, so I found a good mod. It's called the Iron Chess mod. And as you can see right here, it says it's for 1.14.4 and 1.12.2. So what this mod does is just adds different types of chests that will add different amount of storage. So once you've found the mod that you want, you can just scroll past all of these images. And right here is where you can download. So it has tons of different downloads. Um, it's, as you can see, it starts at Minecraft 1.5.2, and the latest version was 1.14.4. But, I'm going to download 1.12.2. All you have to do is press download from server 1. If server 1 doesn't work, then press download from server 2. 
Alright, so it's just giving me a white screen, so I'm actually just going to go back and try it again. And, alright, so it looks like Source 1's not working. So all you got to do is go back to the original website. Alright, so Server 1 wasn't working for me, so I'm just going to try Server 2. That should bring you to another website that looks just like the other one. All you got to do is press download, and look, download right there. Now, it's going to say that the type of file can harm your computer, but that's just a false alarm. This is just Windows trying to make sure that you're not downloading viruses, but since we know that this is safe and from a secure website, we're just going to press keep. So now you can just close out of this and you've installed your mod. Alright, so once you've installed your mod, now all you have to do is put it in your mods folder. So the mods folder doesn't actually come with Minecraft, but when you install Forge, it's going to add a folder into your Minecraft folder called mods. And what this folder does is tells Forge that there are mods to look for. So when you run the Forge version, it'll go into that folder and put all of the mods in there into your Minecraft client. So you can either navigate to your Minecraft folder, but the faster way is just to press Windows plus R. That'll bring up the run menu. All you have to do now is press percent and then type app data percent. Now press OK and that'll bring up your roaming folder. Just press dot minecraft and you're in your minecraft folder. Right here you'll see the mods folder. Open that up. Now go to your downloads folder. So just right click on this file explorer. Bring this down a little bit. Go back into your downloads folder and drag and drop your mod into the mods folder. Now you can close this. Make sure you're on forge and you can enter minecraft. So when you open Forge, it's going to bring up the classic Minecraft menu, but it'll look a little different. As you can see, it has memory used. This is your total memory on your computer. If it goes above that uh, line, if you have a ton of mods, don't really worry. It'll go back down its own. But if you do have too many mods, it will crash your computer. Now we're on the menu. You can tell that this is Forge because it says powered by Forge right in the bottom and the amount of mods you have loaded. Four of these will just be natural mods that Forge installs that don't really do anything for Minecraft but just allow Forge to run. So those don't really matter. If you have any above four, that means you have actual mods installed. So all you have to do is go into your mods folder and make sure you have the actual mod installed and have it showing right there. So as you can see, we have the iron chest mod installed. So all you have to do is go to a new world and let's just call this chests. I'm going to go into creative just for the sake of showcasing the mod and you can create the world. So once you load into the world, it's going to look like classic Minecraft depending upon the mod you have installed. If it's a total conversion such as Pixelmon, then it will look a lot different. But since this is just a minor uh, chest mod, it's going to look the same. So all you have to do is press E, open up the menu and that will open the creative menu. So these are all the classic Minecraft blocks down here. But if you press right here, it'll bring you to the mod folder. So these are all of the things that the mod added. So a shulker box, red obsidian. Look how much storage that has. It's crazy enough. So as you can see, we do have our mods up and working. If you had any troubles in this video, just comment down below and I'll be glad to help you. Thank you so much for watching the video all the way through. If you liked the video, if it was helpful, remember to drop a like and subscribe. It'll really help the channel out and it will help other potential viewers get help from this video. Once again, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.